Hey guys, welcome to the Hillside Garden. Um, I had a request for a follow-up video. If you recall, a couple episodes back, I uh, compared the three growing mediums, the uh, Pro Mix, the miracle Grow uh, fertilized soil, I suppose, and my own homemade compost with these uh, three uh, kale plants. This is the uh, Tuscan kale. Um, yeah, so anyways, um, you saw the results of that, whereas the composted one was a little bit not as uh you know this is the compost one if you haven't seen the first episode where this being the one grown in the pro mix with the hydroponic nutrients and this one being the miracle grow soil uh the uh, raised bed soil i think it was it says you know no feeding for up to up to three months or whatever but so anyways um they had the question of if i could show the roots off to see if you know the roots are different or just maybe just a comparison side by side i thought that's a really great idea if we're getting ready to plant these guys out i figured i could uh, bring you guys along and reveal the roots on these guys as i plant them and we'll talk about maybe uh maybe the pros and cons of each soil in relationship to the roots so let me go ahead and get one of these out first and we'll go from there all right so there you go this is the compost uh plant and overall it's a very healthy plant it's very compact it's not really overly large compared to the other ones but the roots look fairly healthy uh they're a little bit waterlogged that's why they're brown kind of time to get them out of the cup anyhow but yeah um one thing i can also mention about this is where these three cups sat on the front porch for the last two weeks kind of hardening off um the composted soil maintained its moisture level greatly okay the other two will be come home they would be super super dry so i had to water those constantly and this compost i mean it's holding together i look at this i mean it's the roots are firm, it's nice, really healthy. So overall, this uh, plant grown in the compost, while it may not have been as big as the others as a result, it's uh, it's very healthy. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to, we'll do the Pro Mix uh, reveal here. See how the difference is on that one. Okay, so this is the one grown in the Pro Mix with hydroponic nutrients. And if you look right away, the difference uh, between these is the roots are very, very white. Uh, that's probably because it does stay a lot drier. So the water did not, you know, really stagnate on the plants per se um, roots go all the way through very nice so this was i used the uh just a standard pro mix of hydroponic nutrients uh just kind of a weak uh watered down version as a fertilizer just to compare and i mean side by side the compost of plants very healthy but this one is noticeably larger um leaves are much bigger but you know all in all, it's uh, they're both very, very healthy plants. So let me go ahead and reveal the last one, the Miracle Grow Raised Bed Soil, and we'll just do that for the final comparison uh, with the other two. All right, so and for the final, this is the uh, Miracle Grow Raised Bed Soil. Used only rainwater, no fertilizer added, other than what came with the soil. Um, right there, I mean, it's root ball is nice. The roots are very white and very healthy. So all in all, I'd say that the uh, the Miracle Grow probably has the strongest healthiest roots quite honestly whereas number two would be the pro mix they seem a little bit finer uh, when you compare the two side by side you can kind of tell a difference in this is the pro mix whereas this is the miracle grow and you can see the difference in that um, they're both very very well rooted very healthy and let's go ahead and pull the uh, compost back out just for a side by side and here's a compost right there and they're very brown i think that's just because they are actually probably stained from because this compost is just black so it might be a little bit stained but also because it did hold more moisture the roots are tend to maybe rot a little bit more but all in all i think the root growth is probably the best in the miracle grow and uh truth be told when i did this experiment uh i was kind of hoping that the miracle grow bag soil whatever would fail but uh you know Sometimes you just get pleasantly surprised or maybe uh, what you thought wasn't going to happen did happen. But anyways, that's just a little little aside right there. But yeah, but I do think that a combination of different things do play a factor in the health and uh, well-being of your plants. Uh, next time I might do a, where this compost is like really heavy and the pro mix over here got really dry. I might do a mix like a 50-50 mix between the pro mix and the miracle Grow and do that um, you know, just different combinations to see how the variance and how that changes it all up. So I'm going to go ahead and plant these guys back in the soil. Thanks for hanging out with me and uh, check out the roots as they, uh, as they uh, have developed and do a side-by-side -side comparison. So if you do any experiments in your garden, make sure you uh, try to keep things as controlled as possible. The way you don't introduce too many variables so you're actually getting comparative results that are going to be um, something that you can actually use and take that as a, uh, as a learning uh, opportunity. 
All right, guys, so from my hillside, I'll see you guys later. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful, and we'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.